think there's got to be a way. So I asked her, I said, if, if there's no other alternative, if it comes back, what other opportunities, is, is there any research programme I can get myself on? And that's when she came up with a research programme here in Southampton. Well, I was very excited <laughs> because I had only started in research like seven months prior to that and have a first in man injection done. It was very, very exciting. I was very happy and a bit um, scared too because when Michael started reacting as we thought it would be because we thought it would be four to six hours post dose and it was exactly that time. So we knew that it was for real because this trial took three or four years to, to set up and we finally had our first patient. As far as I was concerned, and there's no way that you would be foolish enough to go, no, I don't want any of that. You do have in the back of your mind that you're the first of the human trials. It felt that I was contributing even more. It wasn't just selfishness that I wanted it for myself, it was also for my kids because both my parents have passed through cancer and so is my wife, so, so for that reason alone. I want to Make try and do a bit, yeah, yeah. I've even, if this one don't work, I've volunteered for the next one already. So. <laughs> <laughs> if we think that in 10, 20 years time, we might be able to vaccinate kids or teenagers with a vaccine that might prevent head and neck cancer for, from uh, happening. Obviously, this makes us happy to come to work and to do these trials and it's something that you you want you you just need that possibility of an open door and that's what this trial gave me i was told basically the immune system in a human being is a hell of a weapon against nature and it can fight everything or mostly everything as long as it can recognize it so all this vaccine is to do is to kickstart the immune system and help it recognize the cancer cell is not a friendly it's the enemy and it needs to be destroyed and once it's been educated to do that then theory wise it's working while i'm walking and i think southampton is one of the only places um where the research actually goes on on site. But here, we have the scientists and researchers, they come down to where the patients are and get the blood. So it just, I just think it gives like a whole new, it just gives a whole new take on what they're doing. Not that they needed to be any more inspired by what they're doing anyway, but actually they take the blood from the patient. That patient isn't number 101, that's patient, that's that chap there who's traveled so many amount of miles, who's been there, who's having a cup of tea and his favourite biscuits of ginger nuts, you know, they get to see that and I think that's what makes it more special. You have to think positive and the only way you can think positive is by contributing and the more that people contribute to this game of research, uh, the more chance you've got to protect in the next generation that's coming up behind us.